Welcome everybody. Uh, we're gonna see in this video how to install Windows Server Essential Media uh, to access our files and uh, yeah, music, video, uh, documents, PDF, etc. So here's a small uh, guide to what we're gonna do. First of all, we have some assumptions that we have to make clear. Uh, we assume that you have installed already a server 2012. Uh, R2 on a physical machine, on a VMware, Hyper-V or VirtualBox. So I assume that you know how to use remote desktop connection to access your server remotely through a client. As you can see here, uh, I'm using a Windows 7 uh, client uh, uh, laptop and this is the steps that we're going to do. We're going to first install uh, Windows Server Essential Role. Then we're going to configure essential media and work access. We're going to add some media to the media server. We configure or connect the media server to a domain name. And the last final step is we're going to access it remotely and test the media server from the internet to play or view or download our files. So, first step is that we are going to connect to our server which uh, I made already a shortcut to uh, my server so I double click it and then it will open our session uh, first of all uh, you will see that the service automatically will open with the server manager dashboard which is included in the installation of Windows server so first of all we're gonna Click on Manage, we're going to add roles and features, and then Microsoft will light you, uh, guide you through this uh, wizard. We'll click on Next, we will choose a role based installation. Click on Next, we want this, this role to be installed on this server. So we we'll click on Next, and then we scroll down and find the Windows Media Essential Server Experience. We're going to click that, it will pop up that you cannot install Essential unless the following role services will be installed. So we uh, grant that these uh, roles will be installed. So we click on Add Features, click on Next, and we can add also uh, some extra features, but for this installation it's not necessary. So we click on Next, and we click on Next. And then we can uh, click on this uh, which tells Microsoft Windows that it allows it to automatically restart the server when it's necessary to complete the installation well, we click on next and yes and we want to install it now the installation is progressing and I call this server uh, server training so this feature will be installed and yeah, it takes about 50 minutes to install this. Uh, you can take a break, take a short uh, break and then uh, yeah, coffee or tea and we will get back as soon as possible. So our training server is already restarted so we're going to open it again, double click on this remote desktop session and there you go. Our Windows Server is now, um, uh, the role has almost uh, installed. As you can see on the uh, desktop there is a shortcut made which is called Dashboard, which cannot be used until we complete the installation. As we look to our Server Manager Dashboard, we can see a notification over here. If we click that notification, it tells us that the configuration required for Windows server essential to uh, complete. So you click on this blue line, configure Windows server essential and the system is checking our configuration. Um, after we wait, it will give us a next uh, line that the system will take about 20 minutes to complete the configuration. Um, so as we have uh, as you can see here, by Windows default setup of the time environment, click next to continue. The configuration may take up to 30 minutes and your server may restart 
more than once during the process. So just click on next and leave it, drink, uh, take a, a short coffee break and uh, it will reboot automatically. So we click on next. Uh, here we can you know, create a company name. Uh, we will create uh, just the name training. So later on we will uh, uh, use this 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 domain name in the later statement. We click on next. And uh, yeah, take a short break, and then uh, it will tell you to create another administrator account. So not the built-in administrator account, but another one. So we choose to uh, account name, let's say media, and then we type in a simple password. And we confirm that password and click on configure. So now we'll we will create another network administrator account which has access to our media server so now it will prepare the server it takes about 30 minutes so take a break so the server has rebooted several times and now i'm going to access it again to see if it is complete with installing the role so we double click on the remote desktop connection say yes we would like to have a connection please and let's set it to full screen and there you see it tells us that the configuration is complete and successfully have installed Windows Server Essential. You could also uh, connect it to uh, several services like Microsoft Azure Cloud or other online services integration. That's not this um, main goal today we're going to serve uh, focus only on the media stream so we're going to close this one like this. I also would like to show you before we proceed remember this name of this server called server underscore training there it is full computer name server underscore training and windows had added our company name which we entered by training so the domain name is now training.local I'm going to use this information later on so let's close this one and as you can see uh, we have now a dashboard and now we're going to install the streaming media pack you can find that, uh, find that pack on the, and download it from the Microsoft website so let's open Internet Explorer and I have added here his favorite go quickly and there you go it is the Windows Server Essential Media Pack which we're gonna download for this server it enables us the streaming functionality I'm not gonna download right now because I already downloaded it and it's on my desktop so there you go we double click and say run and they say we're gonna start the wizard to uh, yeah you install your streaming server so after this we can stream media photos music or video uh, you can stream media by my server app and you can connect it to remote web access and you can also manage the streaming media from our dashboard so we click on next we have to accept the license terms we click on next and now windows is installing this media pack this could take, uh, I think, about a few minutes, and after that, we will proceed with the next uh, steps of this collaboration. So, the server has rebooted several times, and the media pack is installed. So, we want to connect again to our server in the remote desktop session, and there it is. Let's click it to maximize full screen. And now, as I said before, Windows has created a new icon which is called Dashboard. Dashboard. We double click it to open it, and like this one, there it is Windows Server Essential Dashboard. Let's maximize it. Next step is click this up on settings. Uh, you can check your time and date, your region, and it tells us that. Windows update is not configured, it's not necessary at this point, we just want to finish the installation. We click on media 
and it tells us media server is on so we don't have to turn that off uh, we can choose a type of quality it depends on your processor if you can set it on best because higher quality videos means higher powerful processor uh, it creates automatic uh, uh, libraries for your media you can customize that if you would like to you can tell if the company file folder is included or not so just leave it default that this is to do it. So now we would like to configure anywhere access or access our media server anywhere in the world. So we click on configure and it will guide you through this wizard. So let's click on next and it will help you set up a domain name and access your server on the internet. Yes, we would like to have that. Um, uh, you can choose to uh, set up a, a domain name that you already own or to set up a new domain name. If you would like to set up a new one and you can choose to purchase which is a paid uh, domain name supplied from your hosting provider or we could get a free domain name from the Microsoft account. So we're going to connect that and you have a Microsoft email account or you can uh, Create one if you don't have one. For this training, we have created an email account which called also dash access at outlook.com. And we click on next. Type in our password and we can sign in. So now we have to wait a little bit because Microsoft is connecting. Okay. Use the server, you must review the following accept yeah, an agreement. Okay, we're gonna accept it. And now we can pick our own domain name. So let's say that we're gonna use training.remotewebaccess.com. We're gonna check if it is available. It tells us yes, it's available. So you're gonna set up this domain name. Uh, we have to remember that uh, name training.remotewebaccess.com to access. Okay, so click next to configure anywhere access. Okay, we're going to click next. The main name is set up on your server. Uh, we would like to have a remote web access. This session we're not going to configure the VPN. So we connect that allow anywhere access. For edit user and user accounts, yes, we would like to allow the uh, setting up a remote desktop session. <coughs> it could take a while, so I'm gonna wait on this till it's finished. So, uh, the server rebooted several times, and before we're gonna try to access the web server, we're gonna first check if it is successfully complete. With installing a Windows Media Server Access. So we open the Windows Server Essential Dashboard, and as you can see here, it's green. It says we have successfully set up a new access. So now we should be able to access our Windows Media Server through the web, through the World Wide Web. So let's switch back to my local Windows 7 desktop, which is over here. Here we open Internet Explorer in this case, and we should go to our new domain name which is called training.remotewebaccess.com slash remote and click on enter. And there is our login of our new setup Windows Media Server. Uh, remember, in the previous step, we have created a new administrator account which called media and we type on switch back to the server side. And let's maximize the server and we click in the default folder which is located in C server folders music and we're going to drag some music into that folder. We have a 
sample of Microsoft which called Kalimba. You can drag or drop this into this folder, click on paste, and now we should be able to access this music from the web. So we go back to our local Windows 7 desktop and we're gonna refresh this page. And as you can see, there it is. It has already added the number to music. Mr. Scruff calls this number of Microsoft. So we click on this one, it will open a new window, and we click on that. And there you go, we are live streaming. Oh, it's a little bit loud, but as you can see, you can play forward or backward, whatever you like. And that's it. Congratulations. Thank you for watching, and check out my new videos on the web. And see you next time. Cheers.